Hey guys, as a mobile mechanic, I wanted to turn you on to one of my newest tools. It's a Launch OBD2 scanner. Let's check it out. I've had it for a couple of weeks, and let me tell you, I have thoroughly enjoyed it so far. It's helped me find a couple of good, tough codes and issues that I've had with vehicles. One of the vehicles was a Subaru. We couldn't figure out what was going on with that Subaru, and it told us to first replace the O2 sensor, and the O2 sensor actually repaired another sensor issue that we had. So it was a real nice thing to use it for. I've also had it hooked up to a 95 Volvo that had a OBD1 port that looked like an OBD2 port, and it hooked up to that, it checked out some emission codes, and it even let us read live data on the O2 sensor. Now I'm getting ready to scan this 98 Volvo, see if I can find the ABS codes. And if for some reason some feature doesn't work on it, you can connect it to your hotspot on your phone or your Wi-Fi close to where you are and update so that it can have the information for that vehicle you need. And then you can go ahead and scan it and find the problem. So let's get cracking. As you can see, the screen is nice and bright. I went and manually entered in this 98 Volvo. I told it to check ABS issues and there I have it. Wheel sensor left front circuit fault. Wheel sensor right front circuit fault. And I can arrow down to the other faults and see what's going on with this. It's only got those two, so I can back out of that. You can also read live data on this while you're driving. You can read what sensors are picking up and what speed they're reporting. Very nice feature. And there it is. I have no check engine light and it has no code set. Now I'm gonna try to reset the service light on this. Let me go out and try that. I'm gonna go right to the home page. The home page, it has a thing that says reset, exit the current thing. Let me go ahead and exit this manually. Reset, then auto reset. I'm gonna hit okay. It's connecting. All right. It said it was unsuccessful, may need an update. So let me try to do it manually here. Volvo. Switch ignition on. Okay. Manually select S70 98 model. Resetting the service reminder. Ignition is on. It's communicating. Reset finish. So let's shut the car off. Unplug the connector. Start the car and see if the service lights reset over here in the corner. And it is. So it did work even for this old vehicle. I'm going to put a link to where you can get one in the description area. And man, I tell you, I've had other launch products and I've had other mechanics try to actually keep my launch scanners because they were so impressed on how they were able to get the car diagnosed to pass emissions and stuff like that. And this one seems like the next level. I would call this a level two scanner, possibly a level three if it could actually uh, program things. So I'll do some more research, do some more testing, do some more use of it and post another video in probably six months. Thanks for watching. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.